time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning. The Kennedy family has a brand new member. Curb your enthusiasm actress Cheryl Hines married Robert Kennedy Jr. this weekend on Cape Cod. The wedding took place at the home of the groom's mother, Ethel Kennedy, in Hyannisport. The happy couple credits Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld creator Larry David for bringing them together. He introduced them two years in a row at separate ski resorts, and they were married, both married at the time. Congratulations so, to them. Go. Next, Beyonce dropped a surprise on all of us this weekend, releasing a new remix of her song, Flawless. Yeah, the Sneak Attack remix featuring Nicki Minaj features a line from the Queen Bee addressing that infamous fight. You see it there between Jay-Z and sister Solange on that elevator at the Standard Hotel. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. We flawless. Ladies, tell them I woke up like this. I woke up like this. So unfortunately, we can't actually play you the line about the elevator because it was laced with vulgarities and the song does not directly address the persistent rumors of Beyonce and Jay-Z heading for divorce. So many people buzzing about this, whether it's a PR ploy, mm -hmm. whether this is actually real, but the people mystery want continues. They, they want to know about the elevator and they want to know about the divorce. They do. A lot to watch there. Indeed. Well, next we're hearing some new details about this one I'm excited about. Yeah. <laughs> the new Ghostbusters movie. It appears the Ghostbusters reboot may actually feature all female leads. That's right, because Variety Magazine also reports it won't strictly be a Ghostbusters 3 or a sequel to the old 80s movie. And we may see some familiar faces like Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray. There's still no director yet for the film, but on the shortlist, Bridesmaids director Paul Feig. And to a blockbuster that's already in theaters and setting new records. It's superheroes to the rescue, saving both the galaxy and the box office. Guardians of the Galaxy, starring unlikely superhero Chris Pratt, has, get this, has already raked in $94 million. Take those headphones off. No. Yeah, hey, cool, man. No problem. No problem at all. Who are you? Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man, legendary outlaw. <laughs> well, Guardians of the Galaxy is the third highest opening of the year and the best ever for a non-sequel. It was produced by Marvel and Disney, our parent company of ABC News. It's getting rave reviews, big weekend for it. Of course, it went up against Get On Up, that mm -hmm. new James Brown movie. I want to see that one. Which also looks very good. Yeah. So a lot of summer films to check out. And now we'll... Check out our celebrity birthdays on this Monday. That's right, blowing out the candles today, President Obama, the birthday boy in chief, turns 53 years old. Actor Billy Bob Thornton is 59 today. And Cowboys and Aliens actress Abigail Spencer turns 33. And Dancing with the Stars, Kim Johnson is 38. Happy birthday, one and all.